Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As a lot of you guys know, I've had this BMW for years prior to me starting this YouTube channel, right? So with that, unfortunately, uh, what's happened a lot is that I get a lot of questions as to what mods are on the car that perhaps I haven't covered or even mentioned on the videos that I've done to date. So I figured I might as well bite the bullet and do what I've been avoiding for a long time, and that's making an actual list of everything that I've done to the car. And once you get past the depressing point of how much money has been spent in it, uh, <laughs> then we can do some business. Um, I knew it was a lot, but man, I, oh God, I didn't want to, I didn't want to see the number, but anyway, uh, it is not as bad as you guys would see because obviously I, I, on most of the parts, I did not pay full price. I either bought them used or I was able to work some sort of deal or a trade, for example. Um, so anyway. I'm gonna give you a full list of every mod that I have on the car as of right now. So, so here's some ground rules. I'm not going to mention stuff that's no longer on the car, so let's not waste time on that. For example, I've gone through four different intake versions before I finally landed on the perfect intake, which is Dimmer House intake. So I'm not gonna bother you with the previous three that I had. The next point, maintenance before mods please save yourself the headache do not start modifying the car if, you, if your maintenance is not up to date especially a car that's so technologically sensitive as the bmw you want to make sure that your maintenance is up to date before you start adding power it will save you a whole lot of headaches down the road and one more thing is that whenever you're doing maintenance there's a lot of times that it'll actually overlap into possible modifications so you know it's one of those things that if you're going to replace it you might as well upgrade it type of thing so i am going to bring those up all right so the way i'm going to present this is going to be in chronological order from when i bought the car in 2019 to where i'm at as of right now uh, but to make life easier for you guys if you want to look at the same parts I will have it broken down by category in the description with the links to all the stuff that you are still able to get I also use Beamer code to do a lot of little modifications of programming of the modules, like full brightness on the daytime running light, the angel eyes. Um, for example, showing what gear the transmission is in, even outside of sport mode, uh, video in motion for the DVD player, for example, and other things. So my car being an M Sport, it had all, most of the trim blacked out, except for the door handles, for example. So I went ahead and went to my friend over at uh, Simple Auto Styling and he went ahead and just wrapped over them with gloss black. There you go. Okay, this is the famous Mickey Mouse fitting that always rots. You, I upgraded that to an aluminum fitting. I also went ahead and shaved the trunk and I placed my F10 emblem and I went ahead and did ceramic tints because the heat out here is ridiculous. This is 20% of being ceramic, it worked great. Then I lowered it on H&R Sports Springs with the factory adaptive struts. Went ahead and did some spacers so, so that the wheels would sit flush. Look at that rear fitment there. That's 15 millimeter in the back front I ran 10 millimeter I don't want to go too big on it because I didn't want to risk rubbing during full lock and as most as you guys know I am running MHD for tuning um, when I was on stock turbo I was running the cookie cutter tunes uh, stage 2 plus e30 for example and at, at one point I did go for a custom tune with David shop and it just woke it up for those of you that are asking if it's worth it to go for a custom tune rather than just a cookie cutter tune that comes with the tuning software that you choose absolutely it is a big difference i gained a lot of power from just going with david shop so i highly recommend it david shop is the man give it a shot another thing that i did was the engine oil cooler bypass mod so in front of my oil filter housing i have my thermostat and that thermostat you can actually flip the order Instead of having, I think it was, uh, when you first take off the cap, I think it's the spring and then the thermostat. 
and then you just flip the flip the order. You put the spring in first, and then the then the thermostat. And what that does is that it allows oil to continue flowing through at all times. Uh, it makes your oil temperatures significantly cooler. When I did that, my engine oil temperatures went from an average of like 235 degrees Fahrenheit down to about 205. So it is a massive, very noticeable difference in your engine oil. I'm gonna count switching to Continental DWS 06s as a mod simply because A, they are non-run flat unlike the factory ones and B, they grip so much better. I went ahead and added the strut brace. Uh, it works great. It's a great value for the money. The interior got some attention with this aluminum brake and accelerator pedal set. I also did some LEDs for the vanity mirrors. FTP boost pipe, which is the pipe that goes from the turbo to the intercooler. Um, I did that because I knew that at some point down the road I was going to put a bigger turbo and I didn't feel comfortable with the factory rubber one. All right, so this is one that was actually maintenance, but then I turned it into a mod. My thrust arm bushings were all dry rotted and stuff, so instead of putting factory ones, I actually uh, had my boy over at work. He went ahead and put and, and pushed them out on the press. Then I had him put in some PowerFlex urethane thrust arm bushings in place. And what a difference that made to the steering feel. It, it, it just feels like my old E46 that had the hydraulic steering. It's so much better feedback and a lot more consistent. I added V58 ignition coils and what a difference it made in response. Okay, so this is when you start getting into the point where you guys I've seen what I've done because this is more or less when I started the YouTube channel. So we have the Walbro 450 fuel pump. You guys saw me install that was my first video on this channel. Then I did the Brembo four putt fixed calipers, which you're seeing right there. Those came off of a seven series. And of course the Arc Terminator EKPS cooler in the trunk. This is now in 2023 what I've done, which is all in the channel. So. Let's go through it real quick. N23.5 bar T-map sensor. The WIFO A129 two-channel dash cam. There's, of course, the Schwenk N55 Plus Turbo, which is ceramic coated on the hot sections as well. Uh, it does include its own, um, its own turbo inlet pipe. Demmer House Performance Intake. And I lo absolutely love this turbo. All right, then we also have the Bimmer House Performance Rear Diff Mount Insert, which is an incredible, completely changes the, the drivability of the car. I highly recommend it, you guys. It works on this car. He has several versions coming up, but right now they work on six series and uh, what is it? Uh, F06s, F02s, F10, F11, I believe. Um, so I highly recommend it, guys. It is not that much money and it does change the entire behavior of the vehicle. Then it was a high flow CATA downpipe, which I wrapped, of course. Then it was the MHD ethanol content analyzer. I did this full performance helix overdrive unit, a metal threaded inserts for the throttle body to intake manifold connection. And then, of course, the last thing I did was the earthquake SWS subwoofers under the seats. All right, finally, we're almost done with this, guys. <laughs> so that's where the car is right now, which leads me to the next point of what's coming next so my next big project is actually rod bearings and i'm going to call i'm going to call that a modification because i am not using the factory rod bearings i am using acl race bearings instead so again another case of maintenance that i'm going to consider a modification because of the parts that i'm using okay so that's next i have all the parts for it and i want to get it done before the winter time before it gets too cold to be laying on this concrete floor here and I mean, after that, I mean, the world is open at that point, you know, we're talking wheels, maybe a rear diffuser, uh, upgrading the rear brakes. I have coilovers in mind. I have uh, engine heat management also in mind. So there's a few things coming up, guys. With that said, guys, thank you so much. And if this was useful to you, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing. And as I always say, I got more projects for this car and the Jetta. Thank you so much.